It's a fantastic journey because this disease was 15 years ago a fatal killer and by now is eradicated if not curable. And I was lucky enough to uh, participate in the journey from the phase of the gene identification up to the end, up to the uh, optimization of therapy. And this journey uh, unraveled the fundamental importance of uh, uh, mouse modeling of the disease. At that time it was challenging, now it's given for granted that we can take out genes or add genes. We could uh, uh, elucidate the basis of the first subtype of APL and uh, I was lucky enough to do that and to clone a gene called uh, PML, which is the gene of APL, one of the main uh, gene of APL. So the next step, of course, having discovered this gene is what is this gene uh, uh, for, how does it participate in the disease process, and so at that time knockout technology was developed. We could dream of taking out this gene from a mouse, so you often uh, hear this in vivo uh, approach, which means that we can recreate the disease in the little mouse and then attempt to treat it. We discovered, in fact, that APL uh, is not one but many. Actually, we found six different subtypes of acute promalocytic leukemia. And the thing we could do, and the reason why the mouse models became very effective, is that we could uh, recreate in the little mouse uh, each and every subtype of APL and then develop uh, specific treatment modalities that turn out to be effective in human patients. And this attempt to generate a better mouse model and generate a model which is faithful has been the turning point of the whole story because by now we believe that we can model cancer in the mouse in a faithful way and that these little uh, patients uh, recapitulate the feature of human cancer. Through NCI support and funding, this uh, APL saga became the role model for how you would uh, uh, use uh, and study a uh, mouse model of cancer and importantly use them uh, towards uh, optimization of therapy. So we could discover that uh, APL is not one but many and that these subtypes of uh, APL respond differentially to therapy and then optimize therapeutic modalities for each and every type of APL. This can be exported to each and every cancer because by now we accept the fact that uh, lung cancer is not one but many, prostate cancer is not one but many and we, we need to de define the genetic basis and then tailor therapy according to this genetic criteria. And this process of modeling faithful cancer in the mouse could be applied to other forms of cancer.